Hello coders and welcome to another How to Code Well PHP tutorial. Today, what I'm going to be demonstrating is how to shuffle an array, how to randomize a PHP array. And we're going to be using the shuffle PHP function to do so. So let's get into the code. So the first thing I'm going to do is generate a range of numbers, and then I'm going to shuffle that range. I'm going to use the range function that I have already demonstrated before in a previous tutorial. I'll link to that in the show notes below. But essentially what this does is generate a range of elements. In this case, we're going to have a range of numbers between say one and 10. So let's create a variable called items. This is going to be equal to a range between one and 10. We need to print this out first of all. So let's do a print and then pre. Underneath the pre tag, let's do a print R and pass in items. And of course, let's go and close this pre tag like so. Okay, now before I get into the browser, I just wanna say that all of this code is available. I've got links to this in the show notes below, as well as a link to a video that I've done demonstrating how you can use the internal PHP local server to test your work. So go to your browser and point it to the array underscore shuffle.php file. The output is as expected, a range between one and 10. The next thing we're going to do is shuffle this this array so it randomizes the values that we have. So let's go back to the code and do that. On line seven, I'm going to type shuffle. Now, before I add the argument here, let's go and take a look at the documentation for this function. So if I scroll up to the top here, it says shuffle an array. There is the link to the PHP manual. Do check it out for other examples. So the only parameter that we supply is an array and this returns a Boolean. So true on success or false on failure. So the thing to point out here is that this doesn't return the changed array because the array has been changed already. So if you need to keep the original order of the array, then you're going to need to copy the array before you pass it in. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass the items array to the shuffle function. So I'm going to copy items here and we're going to paste it in like so. We're also going to copy the print statements and we're going to paste it underneath the shuffle. Let's save our work, go back to the browser and refresh your page. So the first array is the range of numbers that we've generated. However, the second array is the shuffled version of the original. So in this case, we start with six and we end with three. These of course are the values that have been shuffled. Notice however, that the index of the array isn't kept when we're shuffling the values of the items. So for instance, here on the original array, we have an index of zero and the value of one. Whereas here we have the index of zero and the value of six. So you have to be cautious when you shuffle the array as you will lose your index. What I'm going to do is generate a hard coded array. So I'm gonna copy items like so, and we're just going to paste it down here. I'm going to change items to hard coded. And of course, we're going to change that in the print R statement like so. Now this is going to be a hard coded set of keys and values. So let's add the key of one with the value of test. Let's also create a key, which in this case is going to be an associative key. So this is a string of fruit with the value of apple. We're also going to add a third one, which is going to be numeric. So this is going to be three. And we're going to have cheese. Let's do a fourth one, which is also going to be associative. And let's do food is equal to butter. Okay, so this is our hard coded array. So it's hard coded because we've defined the keys and the values. This is a mixture of numeric keys and string keys. 
Down here, what we're going to do is we're going to print the hard-coded array. But before we do this, of course, we need to shuffle it. So I'm just going to grab this shuffle function call. We're going to pass it down like so. And we're going to change items in here to be hard-coded. So this is going to shuffle this array, but it's also going to re-index the array as well. So let's hit save and let's go back to the browser. After refreshing the browser, you should notice that the second example here, the first shuffle demonstration, has also randomized the values once more. Let's scroll down to the third example. We can see that we have test, butter, apple, and cheese. Notice that the keys have been reassigned. So now we have numeric keys, zero, one, two, and three. This means that we no longer have the keys of food or fruit. Let's refresh the page some more so we can see these values shuffle. If you found this coding tutorial helpful, then please do let me know. Give it a thumbs up and also ensure to subscribe to How To Code Well so you don't miss out on other coding tutorials and courses like this one. If you've got any coding questions, then please don't hesitate to ask, but do ask them on our Discord server. Go to howtocodewell.net forward slash Discord to join. Happy coding, everybody. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Bye.